Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Overboard. Let's go ahead and begin again. Uh, yeah, that's fine. And the reason is because I am trying to figure this out, and I think this the fact that it's starting at 8.02 is what's causing me a problem. Let's go ahead and zip through these. Look around the cabin, bathroom, tablets, pocket them. Leave the bathroom. Now leave. Continue. Can I get up there? No. See, I need to get up there before 8.35, and I don't think I can. All right, reset to 8 a.m. <laughs> so I think that's just all setting me back just a couple minutes, which is causing me problems. All right, let's see if we can do this other ways. All right. So it's 8.25. I need to get my pills. Uh, deck. But I think I just need to do that below before, like, um, a certain time. Let's go, uh, go below. I might be able to get this in a little bit later. Because there is a point where you're supposed to just wait around on, on the deck for, um... Uh... For Anders to show up. And I don't really want to talk to Carstairs, if I can help it. Ah, Mrs. Villainzy! Damn fine day, what? Good morning, Mr. Carstairs. I'll never forget this view. Oh no, I'm fine. Okay. Wait by the rail. Mrs. Villainzy. It's Anders on his way up to the bridge. Admiring the view? I am now. Ha! I'll give you a... You are a one, I'll give you that. I'm going up to the bridge now. Gotta take the wheel. You should come up if you want a view. You can see all across the deck from up here. Is that so? Oh, yes? You saw something. Does she? Alright. Now we go up to the bridge. Anders. View from here is very nice. Let's try that. What's that key? Does it go anywhere you like? Can I borrow it? Which pocket was that? Maybe this one then? Take very good care of it. Be very persuasive, you know. I'll take the key. Okay. Aren't I? Alright. I'll see you there. It's 11.30 then. Okay, go back down. Alright, I need to do this quickly. H's door pass key, the books, nine tailors, read a page, pick it up, keep the photograph, look somewhere else, step outside, let's go ahead and leave, can I get back up here in time? No, I can't, dang it, ah, alright, so I have to go do this in my cabin, alright. Okay, close the door. 
I wanted to ask you something. Show Anders a photograph. Take the photo, Anders. For a long moment, he stares at me. One hand on my arm, one on the photograph. You must have gone to some trouble to get this. And now you're just giving it to me? You're your own man. You should be free of her, of anyone. He tears the photo into tiny strips. Then he unscrews a porthole, and the strips flutter away across the sea. How does it feel? Why, Mrs. Villainsy, I could sound the horn, but she's got plenty more. I saw you, Veronica, last night on deck. So did she. She doesn't let people go. We need to destroy her, or we'll never be free. Uh... You're a commander. And no one on this boat can prove otherwise. That's true. If you saw something... If you say you saw something, people will believe you. I understand. I'll say whatever you need me to say. You get everyone in the room somehow, and I'll skewer her. Just keep your own neck out of the noose, all right? It's a deal, Mr. Anders. <laughs> Please, Veronica, you can call me Ambrose. Enough of this. Kiss him. All right, then, if you must. But make it quick, won't you? Ah, dang it. That's going to waste time. <sighs> Get up out of bed. Get up out of bed. You look perfect, dear. <sighs> All right, leave. All right, ship's bell. I think this is still not quickly enough. I might get one of the uh, ones. So this should be the same. It's a horrible thing to say. Uh, me. Certainly wasn't me. Maybe two met on deck. No, shoot. I think I screwed this up. Maybe not. There we go. You got it. Anders accused Lady Armstrong. And then... Perhaps he turned down your advances. I think she's been drinking. Okay, let's see how long that one took. I earned the life insurance payoff. Five hours, no, five hours, 22 minutes. Uh, <laughs> all right. Yeah, I gotta show him the, the photo in the thing, so maybe... Maybe I don't pick up the, uh, pills. I don't know what that's gonna do. So I'll try ignoring the pills. I know you're not supposed to have the pills in there when the, uh, um, the maid comes by. Mr. Carstairs. Of course, what else? Another time, perhaps. Wait by the rail.
I feel like this is uh, just a little bit too uh, much time. <gasps> What's that key? All right, let's go get the key here. All right, go back down. See if I can get uh, my pills real quick. There's no need. Cabin is private. I have enough time, but we'll see. There's a pass key. The books. Nine tailors. Read a page. Grab the photograph. Alright, can I... No. He's already gone. Alright. So if I go to my cabin... I wanted to ask you something. Show the photograph. Take the photo. How does it feel? Commander, if you say something, you can say something. It's a deal. <laughs> Meet it out. All right, hopefully, I didn't uh, piss him off. I threw the commander out of my cabin. Well, and that might be part of the problem is that now he might not do that. But let's see. Strike the bell. Accused uh, Lady Armstrong. And there we go. Alright, but I don't think that's enough time. I think we might get one of them. Lady Armstrong was arrested. Okay, so throwing her. Out, uh, throwing him out didn't uh, prevent that. All right, I got storm protocol. I did not get tornado protocol. Four hours, 47 minutes. All right, what if I ignore the pills and fire? Let's just try that. Because I don't know why I need those, but... Beyond the fact that I said that that can cause a problem. Deck. Uh, wait by the rail. Of course, what else? Another time, perhaps. Okay, 
couple minutes have passed. If I just do this rather than actually wait... So he's gonna talk to me. Nope, there's, Miss, there's Anders. Let's go. All right, 9.25. That's uh, the earliest I've gotten. <laughs> Up here, wave to Anders. Well enough. Never, I think. Oh, yes. I saw something. Does she? What's that key? There we go. Okay. Okay, so we got the key now. All right, go back down. Okay, I need to do this before uh, Anders leaves. His pass key, the books. Taylor's, read a page, get the photo. All right, so let's see if there's uh, anything about the pills. Show the photograph to Anders. Give me that. Take the photo, Anders. You're your own man. You should be free of her, of anyone. He snatches the picture from my hand before I can change my mind. Then he smiles, and he tears the uh, photo into tiny strips. Opens a small glass window, and the strips flutter away across the sea. Your commander. You say you saw something. Okay, it's a deal. <laughs> All right. Let's go back down. Okay, so let's go ring the bell and see if we can do this now. Uh, I haven't taken the pills. That's supposed to be something that I need to do. But let's see what happens. So far, everything is going as uh, normal. All right, so far, everything is going as normal. Yeah, maybe I... Don't need the uh, pills. I guess I didn't need the pills. All right. She's gone. She's really gone. She's gone. She might not swing for murder, but there's plenty to keep them busy. I can hardly believe it. I've been ferrying that bloody woman across and back and forth across the Atlantic for simply years. All right. Let's go ahead and say you brought your hat. There we go, tornado protocol. All right, it's all coming up roses. Dramatic scenes <laughs> unfold in Brooklyn Harbor today as Lady Honoria Armstrong, a British aristocrat, was arrested on accusations of murder and blackmail. She was brought to justice by the ship's commander, Jonas Anders, a decorated war hero, later seen on Mrs. Villainsy's arm. Look out, New York, a high-class crime-fighting duo is born. Uh, picture to police believe Lady Honoria Armstrong to be a notorious blackmailer, the cat poisoner. All right, three hours, 55 minutes. Oh, about time. Freedom, life insurance, and no loose ends. It's all coming up roses. And uh, with that, 
We should have all of the achievements. Let me uh, double check. Indeed, I have them all. Yes, see, yeah, global achievements. I have 26 out of 26. We did it all. All right. So uh, this is a fun game. Uh, I really do enjoy it. The only downside of it is kind of the repetitiveness as you are going through uh, the various uh, elements. But I just ah! get one last uh, scream. Uh, so yeah, the uh, the only downside of it is the repetitiveness of going through the options. There is the fast forward thing, but it's not perfect. Like, um, because if you like here in your cabin, if you go into the bathroom, get the pills, and then go out and then leave, the next time you're in, pardon me, the next time you're in here, just holding down the fast forward will be just leave. So. Um, I don't know why the fact says to grab the pills. I don't need them. It doesn't seem like it's necessary to shift the time to the appropriate amount kind of thing. Like, that can be a thing that you can do is, uh, like, leaving and going back in advances time just a little bit, not as much as, like, just waiting by the, uh, the railing, uh, which was causing me problems. But yeah, there's nothing wrong with uh, the pills, and it never happened to me in any of my playthroughs where the, leaving the pills in the bathroom caused any issues, but that is supposedly a problem. Um, uh, according to the fact and some of the uh, options. It didn't go into detail. Um, it's not like it was... Uh, it, it was very much more of a here's how to go through all the things to get all the achievements as opposed to um, here's how all the different options work, here's what they all lead to, that kind of thing. Um, and I'm sure there are more endings and, you know, more little, uh, newspapers that can pop up and stuff like that, but I've gotten the achievements. There are definitely, um, conversation options that I did not choose, even after going through multiple times. Um, so there is more stuff to do there, but, uh, I definitely got my money's worth. Uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, I recommend it if you guys are, are interested in just playing through it. Like I said earlier, the art style I really like. Uh, it's very unique, and it's a, a unique twist on kind of the detective uh, game where you're the murderer and you need to get away with it. Um, I guess the only other downside is that it's a fairly short game, even you know if you're not trying to get all the achievements like I was trying to do. Um... If you're just, uh, you know, hey, can I actually get away with murder? It doesn't take too many runs to do so, and the runs themselves take, like, 20 to 30 minutes or less once you are going through the same thing, just trying to, to change one little variable up kind of thing. Um, and, of course, I never uh, paid any of the... I, di I didn't pay the ransom money to... Well, not ransom, but the, uh, the secret information money to uh, Lady H. And the only uh, um, option there in the... Uh, <laughs> menu is, is the ship really sinking? Uh, which I did not, uh, bother finding out. I'm pretty sure I asked, uh, uh, Anders at some point, but it is an interesting mechanic where it's kind of Groundhog Day. Um, I, I do kind of like that. I wasn't sure how that was going to work, and then once, uh, uh, going through it and seeing that, ah, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so I do uh, kind of like that element of it. Uh, but it's uh, it's a good game. Um, I really like it. It's uh, very fresh, very uh, novel in how it handled everything. It plays pretty smoothly. Didn't notice any bugs or anything like that. Um, uh, the only real issues that I had with some of the stuff is a uh, couple things on, like... Um, it doesn't take everything into account when you go into some of the conversations. You can talk about Malcolm, and then uh, you get back to the basic conversations, and it's like you can talk about Malcolm again in a different way, and people are surprised that, you know, that kind of thing. Um, but at the same time, it's like when you're going through so many different options in a conversation dialogue tree, it's hard to cover it all. So I kind of give the give it a little bit of a pass to that. Um, and it's nice that it has uh, a... Um, kind of a hint system in the uh, uh, the little chapel. Um, 
That was pretty nice. I never did go down there to see Lady H, uh, which could have been interesting. But uh, yeah, I, I recommend this game. Uh, of course, I've played through it all now. Uh, I'm probably never going to <laughs> visit it again, but it is fun. Um, nice uh, art style and everything like that. So uh, do uh, check it out if you are interested in this sort of game. I want to thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I certainly did. I will see you in the next Let's Play. Thanks for watching, everyone.